Okay, so, all right, Chris, now you're bought by a bank, you're getting used to what it's like to be a bank, and all of a sudden, yeah, after three or four years, management changes and, and things have changed. Let's go back a little bit again, though, uh, in terms of when you were, you had mentioned previously that, you know, in the back of your mind, you always thought that there would be an exit, and that would be something you would do. It wasn't in the forefront of the moment, but, you know, because you were so focused on lines of credits and th things like that. What did that look like? If my if if listeners here, viewers are you know who are brokers and moving to lessors, what what did that look like? What did you do different than you wouldn't have done if you weren't thinking about the exit? Well, that's an interesting question, Bob. I wouldn't have done anything different, and and here's the reason why. Uh, we knew once you started looking for lines of credit, the systems that we had to have in place, the reports we would have to be able to to print out on a quarterly basis, the tax returns we had to, to give out. So when it went from the bank acquiring us, prior to that, we were all we were set up. We we unknowingly, by the way, because even though it was in the back of my mind that yeah, hey, hey, maybe one day we'll be acquired. And the only reason it came to the forefront was we got the phone call. We were having we were having a lot of fun. I mean, it's when you're having a lot of fun, you're not looking to to get rid of that fun. Okay. We were, we were having a lot of fun at that moment in life, but we took all the right steps at the beginning is the, is the key here. We knew, and you got my, and you have to remember the reason we knew is I was familiar with that. When I worked at Heller financial, I knew what was required for Heller to want to work with those, those lenders, lessors or brokers. You know, if you were a broker, you didn't have to give too much information. Yeah, if anything, you had to have a good reputation and good references. The brokerage part was the simple. The hard part was now you want to be the lessor. Since I already had knowledge of that, I knew at the beginning what we needed to do. I mean, literally, we went as we went and started out with a logo. We we worked on our logo. Presentation of your logo was important to us. Picking the right accounting firm was important. We did that all at the beginning. And we didn't. We didn't. We didn't. As a broker, we were paying um, uh, Laventhal and Horrath. If you remember that name, you know they went down. They were they were I think it was called the Big Ten at that moment in life, right? Or Big Eight? I can't remember now. But they were one of the biggest accounting firms in the country, and we we, t we chose them for that reason. A, a bank will talk to us. They know that we're dealing with a, a top-notch accounting firm, and that's how we did it. You built the image right from the beginning of a button-down organization. Yes, absolutely. It was it, the thing is, is it was important because I knew it was important. I was exposed to it in a different light. Would I have done that differently if I didn't know about it? Of course, because I wouldn't have known any better. I would, I would have chosen probably a, a small accounting firm, a mom and pop operation, or even just a one man operation who doesn't who only has a few clients because it was cheap. I probably would have done a lot of different things differently because I would have not known better, Bob. Okay. Okay. I, I mean, that's the truth of the matter. That's the truth of the matter.